Well, if you are with Dr. April and you can stick a needle anywhere under guidance by a fluoroscope and you can put anesthetic wherever you want them, well, of course you can diagnose them. But do you need to do that? Do you need to subject a patient to diagnostic injections, CT scanning, MRI scanning, da 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 da, da just to know that the disc was painful or the facet or the sacroiliac joint or the hip joint or a buttock problem or whatever? Or a, or a blocked artery, for example, that can also cause pains that look like back pains. So the question is, no, you don't have to. And my research has been aimed at trying to predict the invasive and expensive diagnostic procedures that can diagnose these things. Can we actually predict those, uh, what we call reference standard diagnostic procedures in a, in a, in a, a way that is sufficiently accurate or consistent that's clinically useful. That's, that's what I do.